B R O O K L Y N come again. What's up everybody, Anthony Serratelli here of Jersey Filmmaker and today I'm on set in Brooklyn. A friend of mine is shooting his first feature length indie film so I asked him if I'd come by, check it out and shoot some BTS. On top of that he asked me to be an extra in his film. So I gotta get my game face on. Maybe even snag myself a line. These pretzels are making me thirsty. Call time's coming up, I'm almost there. Let's go on set and talk jobs on independent films. <laughs> So it's day one of a 14 day shoot and it's taking place at Folks Beer Brewery in Brooklyn. The name of the film is called Double Belgian, a play on words if you're a craft beer nut coming from the classic IPA, Belgian Double. It's of the buddy comedy genre and even just half a day on set had me laughing out loud. Being that it was the first day of shooting, a lot of the cast and crew were actually meeting each other for the first time. This happens a lot with lower budgets when people aren't getting paid for months to rehearse and prep for the shoot. It was a good sized team though for an indie film. It definitely wasn't a no-budget project, but coming in at under $100,000, which may seem like a decent amount of money, still classifies as low budget in the film world. On a set like this, some people will have very specific jobs, but most will wear multiple, multiple hats. In this specific case, the actors are of course doing their thing, acting like actors. The director is focused on getting the script to screen, while naturally overseeing all the decisions that need to be made on set. And the audio guys are locking in on nothing but the sound, the most overlooked aspect in independent films. But other than that, just about everyone else is doing various things. The DP, or DOP, or Director of Photography, is not only setting up his shots, but he's doing some of his own gaffing, despite having a grip handy. This helps efficiency to more quickly set up the shots, but sometimes it just takes more than one person to simply set up a light. Whether it's too heavy or in an awkward position, it comes down to just being safe on set, no matter who has to step in to help out. The producer will arrange production schedule for all cast and crew members, both on set and prior to being on set dealing with locations, travel and lodging, and here is also acting as the first AD on set, logging takes and even focusing on continuity, although everyone really should chime in with that if they ever notice something. The first AC is doing things such as slating and sometimes pulling focus, but is also acting as the low budget DIT, unloading and managing the media. The key grip or gaffer or best boy or PA or whatever you want to call them on this set was pretty much the go-to hands-on guy. You'll find him rigging up lights, running electricity, setting up dolly tracks, moving the camera, pretty much the all-around guy helping out with anything that's needed on set. As for the set dressing, and as you see here, the wardrobe, everyone would chip in to help make the best decision. It really becomes a team effort to help get the best final result. And we even had a baby on set. Thanks to this mama-son combo, I got to be a movie father and husband for the first time, and I think I did a pretty solid job, really expanding on my range as an extra. But overall, for the first day of shooting, this crew worked really well together, and I'm really excited to see how it all came out. So that's all. I'm wrapped for this film. I didn't want to do a lot of talking on set, obviously, but big thanks to the Double Belgian team and Folks Beer Brewery, of course, for the sweet location. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe, and click the little bell so you get alerts to all future episodes. If you have any questions or comments, of course, leave them below or contact me on my social medias, at Jersey Filmmaker. This is my first BTS-style video. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.